Good morning. Welcome to Computer Science Tutorial Channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert decimal number into the octal number with simple and easy examples. As you know, we can classify the decimal number into three categories: positive number, negative number, and floating point number. So, in this tutorial, I will explain you how to convert positive number into octal number, how to convert negative number into octal number. How to convert floating point number into the octal number. Let's start. First, conversion of positive number into octal number. In this example, I have taken 49 decimal number. Now, I will explain you how to convert it into the octal number. To convert any number into octal number, we just divide our number by the base of octal number, which is 8. When I divide the 49 by 8, 8 6 is 48, the remainder part is 1. After this, I divide the 6 by 8. But as you know, we cannot divide the 6 by 8, therefore I write quotient as a 0 and remainder is 6. This division process will be continued until we obtain 0 at the end of division process. After this, I write the number from bottom to top order, therefore I write, I write 6, after that 1. So it is a octal value of decimal 49. I write it properly like 49 base 10 is equal to 61 base 8. So when you convert 49 from decimal to octal number, you obtain 61. The process is very simple, just write your number and divide it by the base and this division process will be continued until you obtain 0. After obtaining 0, just write your number from bottom to top order. Next, now I will explain you how to convert negative number into octal number. In this example, my number is minus 62. When you divide or when you convert any negative number into octal number, we just use the number without any sign. In our example, our number is minus 62, but I, I write 62. I just divide the 62 by 8, 8, 7, and remainder is 6. After this, I divide the 7 by 8. As you know, we cannot divide the 7 by 8, therefore the quotient is 0 and the remainder part is 7. After that, we obtain 0. I write my number from bottom to top order 7 and 6. But this number, this octal number is representation of positive 62. But our number is minus 62. To represent any number into negative sign, we just put 1 before the number. So 1, 7, 6. Here 1 represent the sign of number and 0 represent the positive number. So the equivalent, so minus 62 decimal equivalent is. 176 base 8. Here 1 represents the sign of number which is negative. Now I will explain you how to convert floating point number into octal number. In this example I have taken 0.31 decimal number. The conversion process of floating point number is little difference from the conversion of normal numbers. When we have a decimal number, we use the multiplication method instead of division, my, division method. First, I divide the, sorry, first I multiply the given decimal number by 8 and write down its integer and floating part separately. For example, Our base is 8 and number is 0 0.31. When I multiply 0 0.31 by 8, I obtain 2.48. From this result, 
the integer part is 2 and decimal part is 0.48 now our new decimal number is 0.48 so I multiply 0.48 by 8 it return 3.84 the integer part is 3 and floating point part is 84 now our new number is 0.84 8 into 0.84 it return 6.72 the integer part is 6 and floating point part is 72 now new floating point number is 0.72 8 multiplied by 0.72 it return 5.76 the integer part is 5 and decimal part is 0.76 again our new number is 0.76 8 multiplied by 0.76 it return 6.08 the integer part is 6 and decimal part is 08 this process will be repeated until you have found some patterns into the integer part or you can do it at least 6 or 5 steps like 8 multiplied by 0 0.08, 6.4, integer part is 6 and decimal part is 0.4. Here you can see here the 6 is repeated here. So I divide the multiplication, I stop the multiplication process here. So our answer is, I write the answer from top to bottom order, 2, then 3, then 6, then 5, 6 and 6. So this is our octal number of 0.31 decimal number. Now I have some exercise for you. What is the octal value of 113? And what is the octal value of minus 175 and what is the octal value of 0.72 I have explained you earlier when we calculate the octal value of any decimal number we just divide the number by 8 when we calculate the octal value of any negative number we just use the number without any sign and put the one before the number and in, in the case of floating point number, I will explain you earlier, we, we cannot divide the number by 8, we just multiply the number by 8. So solve these questions and write your answer into the comment sections. In this video, we have learned how to convert a decimal number like positive, negative or floating point number into octal number. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to my channel, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Blogger. If you have any kind of doubt regarding this video, you can contact me by my email address or mobile number. Thank you for watching my video.